Welcome to a tubular lock that I got from VDE. Yeah, Victor, thank you very much for this lock. It's quite a tricky pick. I picked it a couple of times before using the normal setup here with a tensioning tool that goes in the middle here and tensions the center post. And I used the broken pick to pick the pins. Yeah, it's a tricky pick. A tricky pick. And I was thinking maybe we've got some special pins inside and so I took it apart. This comes off easily, it was just a ring here that held it in place. But then I had to drill out two rivets here on both sides. Then I've tapped the inner part so that I can now use screws to practice picking this lock in its, well, usual uh, state. So here I can just practice picking it as it would uh, be mounted on a computer. But it can be easily uh, disassembled. So let's see, this should come out. Here we have the cover. And then we have the bottom part here. And that's the part that contains the springs and the driver pins. And here is the top part that has the uh, key pins. I will show you the pins later, but now I want to show you a picking uh, in this state because it's much easier for me, so I'm cheating a little bit here, and for you maybe a little bit more enjoyable to watch. Um, here are the two pins that need to come off first so that it's easier to clamp in a vise. So these should come out easily. Then this goes back on, like so. I will clamp it now in a vise and hold the uh, center part uh, fixed in a vise and I will tension a lock here on the, um, on the bottom part and see if I can pick it for you. So here is my picking setup. I've put back the two screws in the very bottom part and when I use these two screws as tensioner I can tension the Bible, so to speak, with the drivers and the springs in it, and the top part, which is connected to the stamp here at the bottom, uh, will be stationary. I will clamp this here in the vise. Okay, let's try that. So finally, I found a good setup here with my camera and the lights. I'll tension the lock here with the two screws, turning the back part to the left and pick the pins with this broken pick. So let's see. Springy, springy, binding. Got it. Springy, that's binding. Springy now. Springy, springy. Okay, first time around, not open. Springy, 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 that was binding, now it's springy, that's springy, springy, that was binding. Okay, I touched this pin and the tensioner turned a little bit, so the uh, bottom part turned a little bit. Not open now. Uh, all springy here. That was binding. Can you imagine with the tension wrench and the top part, you get less good access to the pins, and that's quite cumbersome to work on these pins for such a long time. Also holding this with one hand while the laptop is uh, <laughs> um, on the lock, it's uh, really not easy to pick in the field. So, not sure why this is not playing nicely. Okay, we've got it open. So you've seen a lot of time is required to get this picked one position, but you need to pick it two positions actually uh, to get the lock free. Alright, now let's have a look at the pins. 
So let's take it apart. So we have now right hand side the, the Bible with the drivers and the springs and left hand side the top part with the key pins. So finally we have all the pins out. The key pins are just normal, so they are straight at the end, nothing special to it. But the drivers are interesting. We can see the end um, has a little peak or a little thinner pin to it to hold the spring, as you can see from this one here. But the end of the pin that goes to the shear line is tapered. This explains why you have to pick one pin multiple times and it also explains why you get um, some movement on the plug um, until it finally opens. You can nicely see the taper. So first time uh, it's at this position where my needle um, points to where the lock gets the first turn on the plug and then finally when it reaches the shear line uh, it opens. But this takes some time as you have seen. So they all look like this, not three, three is straight, then four, five, six and seven are tapered again. Now let's inspect the top part. This is, ah, you can see it's also tapered, so this fits nicely or matches nicely the taper here on the, on the pins. Pretty cool. Yeah, this makes it a really tricky pick. Let's check the Bible. A little bit of enlargement here, but nothing too serious. Yeah, that's uh, how Kensington makes this lock a tricky pick. And if you imagine to hold it, uh, hold the, the laptop in one hand, tension lock with this usual tension wrench uh, here and with a re reduced access to the pins by having this uh, top part it's quite some time consuming um, to get this lock picked open and to free the laptop so I'm pretty impressed with this lock. Alright so thank you very much for watching thanks to VDE for sending this wonderful lock to me and until we meet again happy picking and bye bye! <music>